Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out another video. I'm super excited to have the WRX back, very happy, but I'm also a little paranoid. Ever since I've got the car back, I've been super paranoid about anything, doing anything fun in the car, I'm watching the traffic, I'm watching people, because all it takes is one slip up, as you guys know, for something bad to happen, and here we are. So, uh, I've been wanting a dash cam for a while now. I've actually had one before. I had one dash cam, and this was about 10 years ago in my old Hyundai Tiburon, and back then dash cams were just awful. Now, this thing is just stupid, um, in a good way. So this is the VOFO A119 Mini 2, uh, the V2. I believe since I've gotten this dash cam, uh, because funny story, I actually had this dash cam before my accident, but it wasn't installed yet. It was just sitting there. So yeah, it did nothing. So we have the dash cam now. It's installed, memory card's in there, and we're getting footage, everything's great. But I think since I bought this, there's actually a new version called the V3, same thing. There's also the A129. Um, they sell like a dual kit, which I wish I would have got, which is a front camera and a rear camera in the same package. Uh, and they're relatively cheap. So this one I think was around $100. The new updated one, the duo model that has the front and rear facing camera was like 129. So relatively cheap for something that, you know, may help you with an insurance claim or whatever you may need it for. So um, this thing's cool to have. I mean, whether I decide to go to the track one day or whatever, it records a fairly nice video. Um, it has a Sony camera sensor in there, so a light sensor. So it gets really good nighttime shots. You can see everything clearly at night. If I needed to, I could make out someone's license plate in front of me. Like they, it, it does a really good job. And so I will show you guys some footage of it. I'll show you guys kind of how I have it routed in my WRX um, because there is a wired route. There was two wires that came with it. One was a USB connection and the other is a hard wire kit to wire it directly to the battery. I chose to just do the USB route because I didn't feel like dragging all the wires through the firewall and into the engine bay and hooking more auxiliary to the battery. So. Uh, and I'll go through a couple of the settings with you guys, but there's a lot of features that make this thing really nice and I'm liking how it's coming out. So I'll show you guys some footage from it. If you see any kind of like streaks or anything, it's because my window's a little bit dirty and if my defroster's not on, you're gonna see like streaks and stuff in the footage. But this thing has very good footage. So I'll bring it into the car, I'll show you guys basically how I have everything ran and then I'll go through some of the settings, show you what all you can do with it and we'll look at some of my footage. Here is the dash cam. I'll show you guys. I kind of have it hidden a little bit behind my rear view mirror. So when I'm driving, I'm kind of in this position. I guess my head is like here. And so I don't really see any of the dash cam, but if I flip this around, you can see it there. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll turn the car into the on position and the dash cam will automatically power up and start recording. So there you can see it just turned on and we are now recording. I have the screen set to time out fairly early because I don't like it lit up while I'm driving. So I have the LED status lights. There's a power light, a light to let you know that it's a recording. And I think this one lets you know that the microphone is on, but I don't see any of those because the rear view mirror is like that while I'm driving. So nothing is there to distract me. So if you guys open up the menu here, there's a spot to change the resolution. Um, you can change the bit rate loop recording. That's where you can change the amount of time that it records for. Uh, you can change your exposure if you want to HDR mode. I think I have that turned on, um, parking mode. You may have to have this wired up to the battery to use these, um, but they will detect events and you know, uh, there's a motion sensor. So if somebody walks by the front of your car, you can have that record that sort of stuff. So there's motion detection. Kind of cool. Um, time lapse recording, and then there's the GPS that'll show your location. You can disable that. Um, speed unit, so miles per hour, kilometers. G sensor, you can set the sensitivity of that. Connect it to Wi Fi, you can set your date stamp, your GPS info, camera model. Uh, you can turn that on and off. Record audio on and off. Screen saver, which that is uh, how long it'll stay on, so three seconds. So if I um, well, and then here's the LEDs, so I can turn the LEDs off. So the LEDs that you see there are off and on. Um, volume, date, time, all these simple stuff. There is a voice control. I haven't tried to use that yet. Um, I have the beep sound turned off, image mirror, all kinds of stuff. So there's all sorts of stuff you can do. 
Um, custom text stamp, so I have it to say WRX. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But if you back out, you'll see that three second timer. The screen will automatically shut off. Um, and it did start recording there as soon as I backed out of the menu and it realized I was done, it started recording again. So to kind of show you how I have this ran, you can see it's there uh, connected to the window with some 3M tape that is supplied. And then the power wire is coming off of here, going up and over. And then it goes all the way across the headliner and then it comes, I actually pulled off this weather stripping off the A-pillar and ran it down. And then it goes down underneath the dash and goes across and it's all zip tied up down there. And then the wire, I basically pulled it across down there and up through here and then pulled the shifter assembly out or the console out. So this piece here, it just pulls up and then I ran the wires back through there. So one of those wires is actually for my phone and the other wire is for the dash cam. So I think they're tucked up pretty neat and I didn't have to wire it all the way to the battery. So that's how I have it set up. So this dash cam has been pretty good for me. I will go ahead and put in some footage from the dash camera. That way you guys can see what the camera itself looks like. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this thing. I just want to make a little review video for it. Uh, a lot of people asked about it, so here it is. I'll show you guys some footage and then we'll come back here. Well guys, hopefully you can see the footage. It does a pretty good job. Again, this is the VFO A119 Mini V2. Uh, there's the A129, there's the V3 of this uh, camera. So there's all kinds of stuff you can check out. I'll just link their website in the description so you can find whatever dash cam might work best for you. But this is a pretty solid one. I'm super happy with it. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. I appreciate you checking out the video. I'll talk at you in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.